Hey, Ocean State Running here with Manny Berkson, former classical star here at the Adrian Martinez Classic, 20302 in the 800, a PR for you, Manny. Congratulations. Not the best conditions, too. The rain picked up, and it really was uh, brutal out there. So, Manny, uh, talk about the race. Um, yeah, the race went, I thought it went pretty well for me. Um, nothing you can do about the weather, but I PR'd in pretty much this weather at Penn Relays in late April, so I wasn't too shaken by it. But I usually, I don't know what the splits were, but usually I hang back, like mid to back pack, and then try to get a lot of people the second lap, but this was a pretty good field, so I think I, I passed one or two people in the last lap. Um, I was hoping for a 202 because I've been in 203 low for a few years now, but that's pretty good. So how's the training been leading up to this race? Probably well, because of the way you ran today. Yeah, training, this has been definitely my best year of training so far. Had a full fall, really good base training. Um, spring was good. I set a PR early in the spring in 800. I uh, PR'd again just now. I still feel like I'm in like sub 410, sub 203 shape, but I, I'm kind of on this plateau. Um, so maybe next few races I'll break for a little bit. So what races do you have coming up? Um, I don't know right now, I mean, I'm hoping to get into USA's, which is early July. My times are still bubble times, um, but I might do a meet in Monmouth, New Jersey, next weekend, for some prize money. Uh, that might be my last shot before USA's. Then I hope to do a few postseason races, maybe like Ed Murphy down in Tennessee, um, to get some times for the Olympic trials next year. Yeah, so what do you need to get into the Olympic trials? Um, the auto standard is usually something crazy like 405, but not not enough people usually uh, run that, so maybe sub 410 is pretty safe. So, uh, Manny, t uh, talk about running post-collegiate now, post-high school, post-collegiate, and you're still, you're, in fact, you're running PRs now. Yeah, um, I mean, it's very fun. It's kind of the reason I still do it. Um, I kind of think to myself, if there's a season where I don't PR, maybe I'll hang it up. <laughs> but so far, I've been PRing. Um, yeah, I guess I was good in high school. Um, I went to Stanford, and it was just kind of middle of the pack at Stanford. Uh, the training didn't really work for me, but I've been having a lot of fun doing it post-collegially and been having more success. And you're working full-time, right? In addition to training, where, where are you working again? I work at a medical device consulting firm called Baronex, which is uh, in Providence. So. so how is that balance and work with training? Uh, it's, very, it's very hard. <laughs> uh, it's very hard because, you know, I go to work and no one really, no one's a runner there. Like, yeah. no one's even really an athlete. <laughs> Then after work I go running and nobody at running is really a full-time engineer so it's a little bit lonely sometimes but both I like both things a lot. Uh, it's fun so usually it's worth trying to squeeze it all into the day. Well Maddie, great seeing you and good luck uh, in moving forward with your goals but great job today. Thanks.